Hello Sagittarius and welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are having a great day today. So let's see what's going on around you in love, what spirit wants you to know. Just take what resonates, leave the rest behind. Okay, the feeling that I'm getting off of this, I'm going to go with how I feel, okay? Um, I'm feeling a major sadness off of a masculine energy, okay? Um, I'm feeling like... There's a queen of swords that they're currently with that feels very betrayed. Um, this person did something to him in the past. I feel like it was a third party situation. I feel like uh, these two may have a commitment going on. Okay. But um, I'm getting the sense that this, the person that they're with has found someone else. Um, I feel like they were obsessed about you, obsessed about... Um, this masculine wanting to be with you collective and now they've stopped it's just like they stopped watching this connection they just kind of stopped all of a sudden okay um, so whoever this Queen of Swords is she's not obsessing so much anymore about you okay because she's found somebody new here this is the feeling that I'm getting off of this She's found somebody new, and your person, whoever this masculine is, feels very betrayed. Um, and then this card came out here, close to the end of the shuffle. Um, it's almost as if your masculine is, is just shutting down. I kind of, it's you know what, it sort of feels like they're shutting down to think about somebody from your past, that's you. Um, they know that you, they should have been with you this whole time. This is kind of them realizing this. They should have been with you this whole time. I'm noticing, you know, this came out on its side, the magician. You could be dealing with an Aries, a Virgo, or you could be an Aries, Virgo. Um, I've also got Scorpio out here. I feel like they could have been dealing with an Aquarius feminine energy, uh, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, Taurus, Aries. They've gotten themselves a new emperor. They're moving on. Um, and I feel like your person is just kind of, you know, they're feeling betrayed, yes. But they're just, the feeling that I'm getting off of this is just, they're drained. They're spent. They they can't go in, you know, it's like, it's like they're just tired of feeling betrayed by this Queen of Swords. They're tired of hearing all the cutting energy. I feel like this person's just tired. They're very accepting of this karmic situation coming to an end. They're very accepting of it because they just, they're so fatigued and spent, they can't do it anymore. So I feel like, yeah, they feel betrayed by this Queen of Swords, but they're not falling apart. You know what I mean? Um, I'm not feeling the heartbreak off of this person. I'm feeling them kind of switching and thinking about you now, okay? Um, refocusing back on you. And this Queen of Swords, I feel like she's just, she's not obsessing about you anymore. She's not watching you anymore. And I feel like it's because she found somebody new. She found an emperor, okay? So, yeah, this masculine is being left, and they're kind of on shutdown mode, doing nothing but thinking back on you, how you would have been um, loyal, number one, right? Loyal, dedicated, reliable, responsible, committed. Um, they could have grown something with you. You would have been solid for this person, and they realize that now. They're not even really heartbroken over this karmic, okay? They feel betrayed. You know, they do. They feel very betrayed, but they don't feel heartbroken. Um, they're in this moment where everything is just kind of quiet for them. Um, they're on shutdown mode, and all they want to do now is think on, and this is them thinking about you, realizing that they should have chosen you. Um, yeah, yeah, man. I got the Empress and the Minor Arcana on the bottom of the deck. They could be seeing you on a glow up, becoming very abundant, a boss, business owner. You're rocking it out. You're successful. Um, they could have built this with you. 
at your side, but instead they chose somebody who cheated on them in the end. But the thing is, they're so exhausted and drained from this karmic already. It's almost like, you know what it feels like? They feel kind of numb. I got to say, they feel numb to me. There's, you would think that after being this betrayed and losing out on you, this person would be heartbroken, but this masculine is beat, you know, they are. Um, so I feel like they're, yeah, there's no emotion in them right now. They feel very numb. And I don't think this person is numbing. Um, I just think they've got no feelings left. And all, all they're doing now is thinking about you and what they lost. Yeah, it's, I mean, this is an emotional card, you know, um, suffering a big loss. But this is, I feel like this is someone standing very still very quiet, reviewing the past, looking at their decisions that they've made, looking at where it got them. Um, even though this is an emotional card, I'm still not feeling a lot of heavy emotion off this person. I got to say, they feel so numb. It's almost like they feel dead inside. I, I hate to say it like that, but they do. I mean, it's not even dark night of the soul energy. It's like there's just nothing. This person, they need to heal, man. They need to spend some time and heal. They're in a lot of regret, you know. They played you, and you showed nothing but integrity during, during this whole journey, during this whole process. They're looking at this, you know, kind of like in awe. Um, I feel like, uh, yeah. You would have never done anything wrong to this person, and they realize that here. They played the wrong soulmate connection, and you didn't deserve what you got. Look at Twin Flame Soulmate. Yeah, this is the decision that they made, right? They made a choice in love. They chose this Queen of Swords over you. This Queen of Swords, let me tell you, I feel like they put this person through it. Time and time again, they put this person through it. Otherwise, they wouldn't be so tapped out. Like, seriously, um, they're tapped out of emotion. You know? And I feel like, though, thinking about you, it's almost like if they have any emotion at all, they're feeling kind of sorry for themselves. But I'm not even feeling that. I'm seeing them very quietly thinking about you this is somebody who's yeah and that's that's a confirmation my phone just went off and i don't even know where it is um yeah you've had nothing but you've shown nothing but strength honesty and um integrity through through all of this and uh yeah they're realizing they should have been with you i feel like this is your masculine just accepting this is acceptance you know, this is having no ego. They're not angry. They're not heartbroken. They're not, I mean, they're just tapped out numb. And I feel like they don't want to let you go. They want this new beginning with you. Look at this. Ah, here comes the sadness now. Now this is a tearjerker for your person. It really is. Thinking about you and what they could have with you. That's when the tears come, okay? That's when the tears come. It, and, it's, and it's weird because literally they're so numb here and all of a sudden they start thinking about what they don't want to let go of. Boom. This triggers your person. Now they start having like a... Yeah, they start having kind of a breakdown. They go from nothing to a breakdown in, a, in almost like a blink of an eye in one little moment. I feel like this person has a lot of anxiety. They're really stressed out and they're scared. I'm feeling a fear off of them um, that they're, they're going to lose you. They, you know, they really screwed up here. And they realize that they're accepting that. They're accepting this karmic situation coming to an end. Um, but they can't accept now the fact that 
they royally screwed up. They want you back. You may have other options too. Or this person treated you like an option and didn't realize what they were doing. Now they want to take action. Look at this. Oh my gosh. Collective. Oh my gosh. This person wants to take some kind of action. You're about to get communication here. They want to come in and apologize. Did you just see what happened here? I'm kind of blown away by your person's energy. I really am. Is this somebody who feels like this uh, a lot? Like, do they just switch gears that quickly? Because um, this is, I feel like this is what this is. <laughs> Such a weird energy off of your person. It's almost like all of a sudden there's this big boom, this big burst of tears. And then... Um, it almost feels like um, they're just they're they're driven. It's um it's this energy. Then all of a sudden it comes in really fast. See, look at this. There's nothing, 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 right? Nothing, 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 and then boom, the eight of wands, and an apology. Them telling you, I'm so so sorry. Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. Uh, please, uh, can we get back together? I can't stop thinking about you. I don't want to let you go, collective. I am so sorry. Let's go somewhere. Let's uh, let's have a date, just a date. Let me prove it to you. You know, I mean, wow, yeah, wow. Earth angel energy here. This person knows who you are. They know somehow. They know you're their twin flame. They know that um, this is a past life soulmate connection. They know that you're a divine being here. And they know that you're about to get away. And this person just kind of shows up out of the blue with an apology and wanting to take you out. Yeah, it's all, it's all true. It's all true. <laughs> I'm like, because their emotions don't fit. It's, they, they have nothing, 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 no emotion, no nothing. All they can do is think about you. You trigger them into like being a blubbering mess. And then they come forward like right after that. It is so weird. I don't even, I've never picked up on this kind of energy before. But I feel like this is your person accepting and coming after what they really want. What they should have had in the first place. Okay, look at this. Everything is about to come out in the open. Everything is about to come out in the open. Um, there could be a baby involved here, but that's not what I'm feeling, okay? So, yeah, and look at how what I'm seeing on the bottom of the deck. The cards are just like this. This person's about ready to talk. They know what's going to make them happy. They know that you are their destiny. This, to me, is a, a lot of times it's a destiny card. And I'm seeing it out here with the Wheel of Fortune. This person's on their way in. This communication is destined. This masculine's... Um, awakening and acceptance it was all destined and I feel like you're about to get this communication they're coming in just as you're detaching and starting a new cycle here some of you could even be planning a house move a location change maybe that's what triggered your person I don't know um, for some of you it did yeah they're gonna change this around or they're gonna they're gonna try I've, I've never seen or felt this kind of energy before. It is so weird. Because <laughs> literally they go from having no emotions and being absolutely numb. And they can't take it anymore. And they can't go on. They're drained. They're spent. And then there's something about you that triggers this person into just like jumping up and barreling towards you. Okay? Without seeing the um, chariot card out here. You may be able to pick up on this. I think, you know what? You know who this is, don't you? You know exactly what I'm talking about. Um, your intuition is extremely lit. You could be a Cancer, Gemini. You could be a Leo, Sagittarius, Virgo. Um, I don't know why I'm sensing Aquarius out here. Libra, or uh, Leo, sorry, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Leo, uh, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, Energy, Leo. 
this person wants to get back together. They're driven. They're coming in. It's coming. They're coming in hot here, collective. I'm telling you. And it is so weird. Yeah, and there's the chariot. I'm, they're barreling in. Your person could be a Virgo, Cancer. You could be a Cancer. Uh, they're coming towards you. <laughs> yes, they are. This person knows what they want. They're making a decision, and they're coming back in for their divine feminine, their earth angel, their high priestess, for the empress and the minor arcana. They want to build this with you. They see everything clearly now. They know about this connection. Maybe that's what it is. Maybe the divine gave them the information, you know, downloads, messages. I don't know, but it's almost like a very sudden 180 this person does. Okay. Very weird. Very, very weird. Yeah, justice, the scales are being balanced here. I feel like everybody is, um, this could be, this could be a union, come, a soulmate connection coming into union, guys. Clarify justice. I feel like this is divine order is really what I'm hearing. Divine order. Yeah, yeah, divine order. Look at this, judgment, justice, the knight of cups. You're this person's wish fulfillment. Um, I could say a lot about this. I could say that, you know, somebody got busted for drinking and driving, which could actually be true here. But I'm feeling like divine order. It is time to get the ball rolling. This person comes in with a chariot. They're coming to give you this offer because you are their wish fulfillment. Um, if you accept this cup, they'll have the ten of cups. This person's coming in fast, collective. You know, if you accept their, what I meant by that was, if you accept this cup, their love offer, they will have the Ten of Cups with you, which is ultimate wish fulfillment. I'm sorry, I didn't, I didn't tell you that all of that. Yeah, this person wants to commit. They want this new beginning, and they're coming in with, um, it's almost like they, the closer they get to you, the more enthusiastic they feel. Um, but yes, and they're gonna, they want to offer you the love to give you this Ten of Cups to create this, this ultimate wish fulfillment, right? They want to offer you this pentacle to create the Ten of Pentacles. This is ultimate wish fulfillment. It is time to go. It is. Collective, I'm really excited about this one. I really am. I mean, we're looking at this person knows what they want and they're going for it. I feel like they feel like they they, they had you at the at their fingertips. It's a, it's almost like um they were so close to having wish fulfillment and now they're swooping back around. They're not even heartbroken over this karmic, okay? They're swooping back in. There's something about a foot they just that fire is lit all of a sudden. They've got this fire. They've got this passion, right? This energy starts coming in really fast with the Eight of Wands. Um, and they make you this offer because they know that you are it. You are it. Oh, collective. I love this reading. Um, so, yeah, you're about to hear from this person. They're in love with you. They're in love with you. You could be dealing with a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. You could be a, a Virgo yourself. You could be dealing with the Libra, Scorpio, Cancer. They're barreling towards you. They want this victory. This person's in love. Yeah, they've been, they've been, uh, this has been taking a long time, okay? I feel like this person broke your heart. They know all that they've done, but I feel like, they want to they want to make up for this you um yeah this is this is um your masculine coming in to try to reunite okay i'm really excited over this reading guys oh what a weird reading i can't say it was really weird um yeah accepting that it's over with the karmic the karmic, I feel, too, this is very important. The karmic's going to be leaving you guys alone. 
they're not even they're not even worried about it anymore. They found somebody new. They found an emperor. They're going to be doing good. Um so yeah. Yeah, they're really burdened by the Oh, look at this. They're really burdened by this. The devil was on the bottom of the deck, but I feel like that's this toxic situation. That's over. This person, they can't take the burden anymore. They know they gave to the wrong person. They invested into the wrong person and left you sitting here abandoned and alone, okay? But um, th this is what's burdening them. They want this love back. They know that this was a blessing in love collective. They know it was. This person's coming in to get their destiny back. They want their feminine back. So get ready because they are about to communicate. And I don't think anything is going to be able to stop them. Chariot, Ace of Wands. Nothing is going to stop this person now from getting to you. Okay. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, so get ready. Um, I'm going to take this into the extended. Okay. Because I want to maybe see how this conversation is going to go and what's going to happen at the end. Okay, are you going to take this person back? Are you going to be able to trust them again after what they've done? Um, what, yeah, what are they going to say, you guys? Anyway, there's a link to follow at the bottom of my description box. that will take you straight to Patreon. I'm super jazzed about this reading. Can you tell? Yeah. Well, 